I'd like to offer you all an alternative to designing bitmap fonts using the latest version of Skin Composer. Certainly you're familiar with Hyro and similar software to generate basic fonts. What if you want to do something more advanced? There's plenty of tutorials out there for making snappy text effects in Photoshop or your favorite image editor. But can these be applied to LibGDX? I'm glad to say yes. It has never been as easy to make handcrafted bitmap fonts as it is now. I'll take you through the steps here. You may have seen my previous video on shoebox. This process is nearly identical to that. I was just so frustrated with the bugs and the poor workflow, I designed my own utility for the task. The first step is to open Skin Composer. Go to Project, Fonts. Click Create from Image. We'll talk about the details of this dialog later. What's important now is deciding what characters we want in our font. Maybe we only need numbers or characters. The default also includes typical English symbols. You can modify this list if necessary. Click Copy. Now open your favorite image editing software. I'll be using Illustrator, but the steps will be similar in whatever software you choose. I'm creating a new text object and I'll paste the characters from Skin Composer. I'm free to edit these characters as I wish. Just keep in mind that there needs to be a clear space between each character. Be careful with your shadows and blurs. If your text gets too long, you're free to add some line breaks. The nice thing about this technique is that you have much more freedom in editing your characters. This font has identical characters for uppercase and lowercase. I can scale down the size of the lowercase characters to make the difference clear. This number 1 looks too much like a 7. I can just fix that right up. So you've designed your fancy font. Export to PNG. Let's return to Skin Composer. We can browse for the file, or we can drag and drop it. Skin Composer will do its best to detect the characters and set default settings based on the image. If you notice any odd words in the preview, change the gap detection size.
Oftentimes, the one pixel or so space in between double quotes or similar characters can throw off the detection. Increasing or decreasing the gap size will help solve this problem. See View Characters if you want a breakdown of each detected character. Kerning is the spacing between characters. Line height is the spacing between each line. If you notice the characters not vertically aligning properly, you might want to adjust the baseline. It helps to highlight the text and see how the text aligns with the insertion point and the box selection. You can specify the exact width of a space character in pixels. Tab characters are a multiple of the width of a single space. Kerning pairs allow you to get more finite control over how certain pairs of characters are spaced. Commonly, you'd want your capital letters to be tucked in a little closer to smaller characters, as with the pair uppercase T, lowercase e. Click on Kerning Pairs and turn on. This may be the key to making certain fonts look just right, but sometimes it makes a mess. You can play with the offset setting to see if you can mitigate the overcompensation. You can also add or remove pairs as you see fit. I normally don't activate this unless the font looks really awful. You have options to save the current settings so that you can apply them to other fonts. Otherwise, if you're ready to export the FNT file, choose a save location and click Generate Font. The font is saved to disk and Skin Composer will optionally import it into your project. If you need to fine tune the settings, you can always open the FNT file in a text editor. Each character and kerning pair has its corresponding line. If you would like to learn what each of these values are supposed to control, check the Angel Code website linked below. So now you have another tool at your disposal. Image fonts are great for artistic freedom at a small expense of accuracy. Use the best tool for the job free type fonts for your standard texts, and image fonts for your more fanciful titles and such. Please let me know if you have any questions about this process. Thank you.